Good morning. So I'm gonna do something a little different today. Okay, this is gonna be an 1111 portal energy check-in. This is for twin flames, mostly. Soul connections, all right? But um, this portal energy affects pretty much all connections. But we're gonna focus more on twin flame connections today, okay? I usually don't do these, but I felt very compelled to do one. So, let's see what's happening. I'm going to use a bunch of different decks today, and I'll put the links in the description box below. All right. What's going on? How is this energy affecting your connection? So, let's get to it. We've got the Ten of Wands reversed. Okay, so laying down a burden, all right. Six of wands reversed. Someone's not feeling like they're getting attention. Nine of wands, a lot of wands. <laughs> Nine of wands reversed. This is about, you know, not feeling as defeated and you know, we've been wounded by something, but we're not, we're getting out of that energy. Then we have the eight of swords, all right, so. I'm going to clarify and go into the cards. This is the Starman deck, by the way, because I'm obsessed with David Bowie. <laughs> also, I forgot to mention that my microphone is broke. I'm still waiting for the new one, so I think it's coming in on Saturday. But if you, um, if you can't hear, just turn up the volume and um, put on, click on subtitles, because that'll help you read what I'm saying. Okay. <clears throat> Notoriously, I have a... A lower voice so I don't speak too loudly so let's see what's this ten of wands about we've got the energy is gaining momentum so we were we're coming out of a cycle where we're feeling wounded okay now this is collective energies between you and you know the soul connection they felt a heavy burden you felt a heavy burden okay we're finally getting out of that cycle we've released it and the energy is moving forward in a new way, okay? It's gaining momentum. We're finally starting to get free of feeling like shit, feeling like we've been carrying something around with us, okay? It's a heavy burden. <clears throat> so let's see why is the Six of Wands reversed. We have a look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. We are almost in Sagittarius season. So, it's like... <clears throat> Sorry, I can't talk today. I'm losing my voice again. So, the Six of Wands is about attention, success, and victory. And what I'm getting, you know, when it's reversed, it's like we may be feeling unsuccessful. Like, we've failed, okay? We're not getting the attention we're looking for from this person. Okay, maybe on their end as well. They're not, they feel like a failure. They, like, they haven't succeeded, okay? But it's telling us we need to look at the bigger picture here because something that's happening in this present moment doesn't necessarily mean this is the, this is the future. But the future is not written, okay? So we don't know what the, we don't know why this is happening. We don't know the reason. Everything is playing out exactly the way it should. So it's telling us, get out of this fear of feeling like it's a failure we're not getting attention, it's over. And look at the bigger picture. Look at, look. it's like we, we see things with our mind. It's like we're, we see things from the valley. But when we look at the bigger picture and we allow our higher self to kind of come through and just be present, we look at the, the picture from the top of the mountain. We can see a much clearer picture of everything that's going on. We see much more, right? So it's saying, look at the bigger picture. Go to the top of the mountain, guys. Then we have nine of wands reversed. Why is this here? We have the answers you need are coming. Full moon and Gemini. This is full moon and Gemini is coming. Um, I think at the end of the month, someone had written on another video that full moon and Gemini is expected on the 30th of November. So it's coming. Okay. So this feeling like, you know, maybe we didn't feel like we got clarity or answers from this person. Is from us too, you know, maybe they felt it on our end. Like we just sort of closed each other out, right? <clears throat> but, you know, I think it wounded us and we're getting out of this energy. 
because the, the what the answers that we're looking for here on both ends they're coming they're coming okay they could be coming with this full moon in the next two weeks all right next three weeks but the answers are going to come we got to get out of this energy though where we're just really focused on what's happening right now like oh no it's over you know look at the bigger picture guys because you're going to get your clarity you're going to get your answers so let's see why is the eight of swords here the eight of swords is like feeling very stuck feeling like we can't get out of something feeling like a little confused telling us to step out of our comfort zone so ask yourself what your comfort zone is like what's making us feel comfortable is it focusing on this focusing on the fears around the situation it's telling us we need to step out of that we need to move forward in, in, a, in a different direction and refocus okay step out of what's making us feel validated what's making us feel comfortable okay you have to examine your fears though what are your fears about this your fears keep you stuck in a comfort zone so you have to kind of address them see them and then do something different let them go step out of the comfort zone take off the blindfold and move in a different direction okay so what i'm going to do now these are just the overall energies let's go into their energy okay it's going to go into their energy. This is what's happening with them in the physical. Okay, what's going on in their physical reality right now? <clears throat> what's going on in this person's physical reality? Two of Wands. So this person could be at a distance from you. They may have turned their back to you, but they're waiting. They're trying to make a choice here. They're just, they're like, what choice do I make, okay? They're on the precipice of making a decision about something. Now we have the sun moving towards a more joyful, happy time, okay? Leo energy, but this is about moving in a direction where things are going to be illuminated for them. Um, I think they're just waiting for this to be illuminated, right? But the answers are coming. The answers are coming, guys. The answers are coming, right? So they're waiting for this. And, you know, they want to be in a happier place. I, I think they, you know, this is their energy, right? They may not be in a good place right now. They may feel like they're in the dark about something. Then we have the lovers. This is a union. This is somebody who wants to unite and be in a relationship. Commitment, right? We're moving towards commitment here, a union of sorts. This is what they're looking. See how the sun, he's looking. Look at, look at the way these cards are coming out. You have the two of wands. Here's a choice. Here's a choice. He's looking towards this choice, okay? And this choice is the one that's going to bring clarity, happiness, looking in this direction. Again, looking in this direction, it leads towards a union, guys. I mean, the five of swords. So this is something they need to walk away from something first. Okay, they need to walk away from a situation first. This is what they're trying to figure out. Do I stay with this? Do I walk towards this? This is this one's going to bring me the light. This is going to bring me clarity. This is going to bring me this union. But they have to walk away from something beforehand. Okay. So... Get some messages from them. I'm ascending to a higher level. You know, the heavens. So this person is being uplifted. They are ascending. They may have, you know, recently been more spiritually awakened. They're, they're rising. Okay, this person is... And it's based on this choice that they're about to make. They're ascending to a level where they're moving towards light. They're moving towards a union. Okay? They're aware now. They're, it's like, they're getting ready. <clears throat> then we have gravity. Yep, I'm always magnetized back towards you. Yeah, moving towards the union, okay? They're, they're coming back. They're, they're magnetized back towards you, no matter what. They're in your orbit, guys. They're, you, you are the gravity. That, you can't escape gravity. Then we have axis. Separation is just an illusion. So whatever's 
making you, th you know, physical realities, you know, what you see here, it's not real. You are not separate. You are together. You can't, how can you be separate from your own fucking soul? You, you can't. It's the same. It's like it's up here as one, then incarnates in two different beings. But at the top level, you're together. Like, you cannot separate that. You just, you can't. So the separation that you experience in the physical realm is really just a reflection of what's our fears within that keep us like keep us physically apart. We got to get rid of the fears. Then we have arc. There will be many twists and turns along the way. So it's like this person may be with someone else. They may be doing something else. Whatever. But we don't know what's going to happen because there's going to be many twists and turns. There's going to be an arc, right? It's going to go like this. Up and down, like an arc. It's like we're there's gonna be twists and turns that we're not expecting. Okay, they're gonna walk away from something. They're trying to work up the courage because this one for the five of swords, it's like someone needs to walk, get the courage to walk away from something because in the right of weight, they're turned back looking towards the other person, like they're gonna hurt them. So it's like, it, it's like they need to get the courage to walk away from a situation first. Okay, now we're gonna go into your energy. In the physical space. What's going on with you in the physical space? We have Pilot of Swords. This is the Queen of Swords. You may have emotionally cut them out. You may have emotionally detached, okay? And the more you emotionally detach from them and there's no fear, there's no emotion, and you're just feeling neutral about it, guess who feels it? That magnetizes them back, that pulls them back towards you. <clears throat> then we have the Eight of Swords. So we may still feel like we can't see fu like fully. We can't see the, tr the full situation yet. It's like we've got this blinder on. Okay, we, there's something we're not seeing, and it's making us feel a little stuck. It's like we feel like we don't know everything about this situation. And what I'm getting, it's like not knowing creates these fears. We create stories in our head that keep us stuck because we don't know what's really going on. Now you have a star. Aquarian energy. It's about healing. So we're healing. There's hope still here. Everything's aligning for you. Okay? This is an energy of healing, an energy of divine timing, hope. So it's about having hope that, you know, everything's going to be okay. Doesn't matter what the outcome is. Just know that things are going to be perfectly fine. Then we have the Engineer of Swords. Is the Knight of Swords. Someone coming in very quickly. Rapid communication, clarity, truth. You're going to get the truth from this person. You're going to get clarity. They're going to come in with some sort of communication, I think. Um, we have to take off this blinder, though. We have to get out of these fears that we're cre like these stories we're creating. What stories are we creating in our head about the situation? Right? Then we have orbit. Do not wait for me. Just know that one day I will return. So maybe we've stopped waiting for this person. Okay. On some level, we could still be holding on by a thread, right? But it's telling them, telling us, don't wait for them. Don't wait for this person to come back around. And like you'll know, like you'll still have that like glimmer of hope that we hang on. Like oh, they'll be back. They have to. You you can't. You got to let it go because they're going to come back, right? But we can't hold on to like, we can't create like a scenario like, oh, they're going to come back at this point. They're going to do this. But if I do this, they're going to just let that go. Those are all fears that keep you apart physically, right? So just know that they're going to come back. They're going to come back. They can't not come back. <laughs> it's just the law of the universe, guys. <laughs> it's, it's a divine law. They will come back. But you got to get rid of the fears. Now we embrace yourself. Impact is coming. 
So for me, this is communication, guys. This is impact. Like you're gonna hit, like you're gonna have impact with this person. Brace yourself because you're not gonna know when it's gonna happen. You're not gonna know. We gotta get out of these, like this, see how it said, like don't wait for me. Just know I'm gonna come back and then brace yourself. So it's like, you know, we can't wait, but just know it's gonna happen. And it's gonna happen when you least expect it. It's gonna, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna surprise you. You're just being like, what the fuck? Never expected this one. And it's usually one we just don't even give a shit anymore. We haven't been thinking about them for a while, you know? Yeah, things are changing. Transition is coming, right? Like the winds are changing, solar winds. Right, coming out under the star, which for me, it's like, you know, this is a healing energy. It's changing the dynamic. As we heal, you know, as we stay mindful, it's healing. It's like it's changing the energy. It's transmuting things. Yeah, retrograde. You can never go backwards on your journey. So, because retrogrades, they're really just an illusion that a planet is moving backwards. They're not. They're not actually moving backwards. So it's like and it's an illusion that we're moving backwards on our journey. We can just like kind of plateau or move very slow. But we're always moving forward, right? And this engineer, this knight of swords energy is showing us that the things are actually moving a lot quicker than we think. You just don't see it. But they're moving like you're moving forward. You're never moving backwards. You cannot go backwards. You you can't. You're always moving forward. Okay, so this is what's happening in your energy. So it's like getting rid of the fears that we're not moving forward, that we're stuck, right? So what I'm gonna do now is uh, see what's going on in their heart space. I'm gonna use the Fairy Tarot by Sister Moon Tarot. The link will be in the description box. This is our new deck, really cute, okay. All right, so what's going on in their, phys in their heart space, their emotional space? We have death. Yeah, they think it's over, guys. Scorpio energy. Uh, right now, they think that things are over. They think that, that like, <clears throat> I think this is what's keeping them stuck. They go, oh, how can I reach out? It's dead. It's over. Temperance. Sagittarian energy. So it's an energy of balancing things out. Tempering. This is healing. So they're going through a healing energy just as you, like you are as well. Okay? Mirroring each other in that respect. <clears throat> Ace of Wands. So this person wants a passionate new beginning here with you. They want to come back in. They want to start things over. They still have passion. Ten of Pentacles. They want this. They want everything. They want the Ten of Pentacles with you. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is clarify some of these. Let's clarify. This is um, the Fire and Ice the Norman by Angelic Revelation. Also, the link will be in the description box. So let's see what this death card is about. Well, that's fun. This is at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Twin flame. Okay. So let's see. What's the death card about? Labyrinth. Twist and turns. Again. That's crazy. Where is that? I have, like, all my cards over here. Hold on. Anyway, so again, we get this card about twists and turns. Things are, it's like, for me, twists and turns, it's like, you just, you don't know where the ending is. You just don't know. It's like, you don't, so this person may think it's over, but they don't know. There's twists and turns here. Like, things are, it's not over yet, guys. It's like, they, in their minds, in their hearts, are like, oh, no, it's done. But at the same time, we haven't gotten to the end yet. Okay, we haven't gotten to the end here. There's twists and turns that you will not expect, that they don't expect, that are coming. What's this temperance card about? Bridges, divine connections, shortening the physical distance to bring you together. So there's, there's, this is healing and being tempered, okay, balanced out. It's going to bring you two back together. There could be at a physical distance from this person, okay. Um, there's going to be this magnetizing back together. Your soul wants you two to be together. It wants you to be together. It doesn't want you to be apart, obviously. So it's like, it's going to, as you heal, as they heal, because you're healing, they're healing. As this is happening, it's going to bridge that gap. Okay. Then we have the tower. Ambition, education, going within and spiritual growth. So this person, they have the ace of wands as a new start. Okay, so for them, they may be trying a new venture. 
wanting to, it's for me this is like it's like ambition right growing it's like expanding it's you know that passion for me this is passion this is this is the same as the ace of wands for me almost because it's like it's that spark right they want that spark with you they want to come back to that right they have an ambition they have a drive <clears throat> so let's see what's the ten of pentacles about letter thoughtful contemplation communication Communi yeah so it's like they want i think they may communicate with you they want to reach out um, because this is what they want they're finally coming to this awareness they see you as their ten of pentacles okay so they may contemplate something it's like says contemplative so they could be thinking about it, it may not be manifesting yet but this is what's happening during this time so i'm going to go into your heart space now it's in your heart space Two of wands. So you may be at a distance. You may have turned your back on them. You're about to make a choice too. I think you're, it's all about choices that we're making right now. Do we move forward? And I, I think for you, your choice is moving forward. Then we, well, then we have eight of pentacles. <clears throat> so you may be focusing on work. Okay? <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> Allergies. Anyway, so I think that you may be focusing on work. Okay, putting the work on yourself. It's like you're focusing on you. You're focusing on that one pentacle, right? You're not getting distracted by other things right now. And you're making that choice. It, this isn't going to, this person, this isn't going to distract you anymore. You're going to start focusing more on you, focusing on your work, your, you know, your friend, whatever it is. Okay? Whatever that pentacle is, but you're going to start focusing on something else. Four of pentacles. Okay, but in our hard space, because this is our hard space, right? And this is what our heart is telling us. It's like we need to focus on something different. Okay? But at the same time, we're still holding on to something. We haven't fully released something. And it's I think it's this situation. I think it's like what we haven't released yet is them coming back towards us and bridging, like, you know, like having them come towards us and then starting fresh with us. We need to release that fear that it's not going to happen. And we also need it. thinking that it is going to happen and being set in that outcome. That's also a fear. It's driven by fear. So we have to let both go and just become neutral to that outcome. That's how we balance it out. The Maybe the Five of Swords. Leaving something behind. This is the second time we've gotten the Five of Swords. Leaving behind this need for them to communicate. Leaving behind this need for this person to come around. We don't need it. Okay. We're going to refocus, I think. During this energetic portal that we're going through, we're going to start to refocus on things that we have now. We're not going to focus on the past. We're not going to focus on the future. We're going to focus on the present moment. Why is it two wands here? Love language, social media, text or calls. Some of you may have been contemplating talking to this person. Okay, some of you have been... And again, this can be a waiting too sometimes. Um, maybe we just sort of expected some text or call to come in. We just, you know, Or we wanted to communicate. We gotta let that go. Okay, we gotta let the go go of the need to have them communicate or communicate with them in some way. You just gotta focus on you know what you need to focus on. Then we have engagement ring, harmony, union, partnership, and proposal. So taking the taking the focus off of this person and you know bringing thing having this proposal or having them come into union with you you got to take the focus of that and again focus on ourselves focus on this eight of pentacles our work our career change your focus okay switch it up right switch it up we got to get out of that so that we start to redirect the energy to something else because the more we focus on this person, the more we focus on this, our energy pushes out and it builds an energetic wall between the two of you. And you cannot come together while that wall is there. You gotta get rid of the fears. You gotta get the thoughts down to a minimum and not be judging them as good or bad, just neutrality. Okay, then we have the sun, confidence, courage, success and happiness. So what are we holding on to still? Is this person going to bring us success? Are they going to bring us happiness? Are they going to bring us, you know, we got to let that go, those feelings, right? Because we have to be confident 
and have the courage to let this go. We have to have the confidence and courage to let go. It doesn't mean let the person go. It means letting go of the fear and the attachment to a specific outcome. That's all it means. That's what we have to release right now. We've got to release this attachment to a specific outcome here and have the courage to do that. That is what's going to bring us happiness and success. This person is not going to ever complete you. You are already whole and complete. What's the Five of Swords about? We have eternal heart, unconditional love, soul love. For me, this is a twin flame card because it's eternal, right? Just know that even if you walk away and go in a new direction, right? And it doesn't mean forever. It just means to redirect your focus, redirect your energy. You can never be, you're never going to be apart from this person. It's unconditional. It's infinite. It's always going to be there, guys. They're always going to be with you, no matter what. Okay? So, I'm going to get something. Let's see. What do we need to release? What do we need to release? This should be a fun one. <laughs> Everyone's favorite. All right. Let's see what they need to release. There's some shadows. These are just some fears, you know, things that they're denying that's going to be keeping them from us and their end, okay? What do they need to release? We got fall. So fall could be a significant time. Could be um, a time when you met, time when you split, time when, you know, something's going on in the fall, though. Okay, maybe they have a birthday, maybe you have a birthday, something, okay? We're currently in fall in the northern hemisphere, so in New York so. we have a new direction okay so they may be going in a different direction right now all right we're gonna clarify though so don't freak out <laughs> people see the new direction card and they start flipping out then we have karmic partner so someone needs to maybe release a karmic partner go in a new direction towards you right some again like i said before i think that they need to walk away from something i'm pretty sure that was in this reading we have solitude they may be spending some time alone okay maybe they don't like to be alone this could be somebody who's just you know jumps from partner to partner or casually dates because they don't like to be alone so let's see what what's going on here let's gonna get some clarity and see what they're denying what's the let's clarify fall what's this about This flew up. We have love. There are romantic feelings here. So right now, you know, we could have this energy where they're feeling love for you. Okay? They, it's like I feel like they still have romantic feelings for you. Okay? We are in the fall. Um, I think these feelings are being stirred up. I think that they're coming into the surface here. Um, they still have these feelings. Okay? Let's see, why is it, why is the new direction here? What's this, what's this for? But I think that they're denying this, right? This is what they're denying. So they're not allowing these feelings to come. Like, they're not expressing them. Like, they're holding them in. They're, they won't. They're like, mm, no, I, why am I still having these feelings for this person? Why am I still connected? Um, so let's see, what's new direction about? True love. This is the one. Yeah. So they are going. Here's what I'm getting. I'm like, this is crazy, but I feel like they've gone in a different direction, okay? Because they're denying this, this connect, they're denying that this is the one. They're, they're denying that you are the one. They just, so they turn their back. They, they're just like, I can't, I'm afraid. Like, there's something that makes them very fearful. Um, it's like they're denying their emotions. So this person's in it, right? Then we have balance. The energy needs to be balanced. So something is very off balance with this person. Okay, could be another energy involved. Three is not balanced. Two is balanced. Three is not balanced, right? So something needs to be balanced, and they're just not, like, you know, they're not balanced yet, basically. Um, it's like they need to release something. They need to release a partner. They need to release, you know, a karmic bond with someone. And we have commitment. Someone is seeking commitment. So... You know, they're denying this. They're denying the fact that they, you know, true, deep down they want commitment, but they deny it. Okay? They deny it. So as a result, 
they wind up single. They wind up alone. Okay, this is, I mean, it's a heavy energy for this person. It's a heavy, heavy energy that they're dealing with right now. Um, and it does, even if they're with someone else, they're, they're alone. Because they can, they just won't commit. They, they deny it. I think what's happening here, though, this is pertaining to you and your situation. Because it's like this person, they're denying a commitment with you. Okay? They've turned their back. to the, See how all of these, like, someone's turned their back. Turn their back. Turn their back. Turn their back. Right? It's like, what the fuck? They're, they're just really, really like... But what the reason we deny things, it's like it hits us so hard and we're afraid. This is what's happening with them. Like, it's hit them so hard, they can't process. They have deep feelings here. There is love. They know you're the one. They, they want to commit, but they are denying all these things because they are not in balance yet. So again, this is why it's so imperative that we focus on, you know... We focus on us. We don't focus on this person. We let them balance when they need to balance. But the, I mean, that's them. They need to do that. Figure this out. So I'm gonna go into what you need to release. Okay. What you need to release now. We got healing. So again, we need to go within. This is someone who's meditating. Our chakras lighting up. You know, meditate, guys. This is it. This is the only way. Meditation and mindfulness. I'm telling you from personal experience is the only way to get through this. And we have communication. So there could be some communication coming in, you know. Maybe we need to release the, the need for communication. Okay, then we have fear. Okay, we got some fears that we still need to release here. And then we have forgiveness. So some of us need to forgive this person. We need to forgive ourselves, maybe. Right? So this, there's forgiveness here that needs to happen. So let's see. Why is healing here? All right. These are all flying out. Hold on. <laughs> Why is healing here? Let's clarify healing. What needs to be healed? We have vulnerability. Be open. Okay, so this is we're not we're not being open. We're not being vulnerable. We're denying this aspect of ourselves. So it's like maybe we've closed them off because we did get the Queen of Swords earlier. Maybe we've shut down emotionally from this person because we don't want to get hurt again. We don't want them to hurt us again. So we have a fear that if we let them in, they're gonna do the same fucking thing over and over again. We need to heal this. We need to kind of just get through this. And what this, again, meditation, being mindful of these fears when they come up and just letting them go. We don't judge them. We just see it as it is, right? We have to be vulnerable. We have to be open. And this is in all aspects of our life, okay? So this is something that is kind of holding us back from truly, you know, ascending to this higher level right now. But again, this is the 1111 portal energy. So these are things that are coming up. And once we release them on the other side, there is balance and there is peace. What's communication about? Acceptance. Receive what comes in without judgment. So the last communication you have with someone, maybe we judged it. Right? Maybe we judged it as bad. Maybe we judged it as good. Maybe we're judging the non, like no communication right now as a bad sign. Maybe when they do communicate, we judge it as good. We have to judge. We have to not judge it at all. We just accept it as the present, and it is what it is. And as we move forward, right, it neutralizes that fear-based energy when it comes to this communication. And they they'll start communicating more and more and more because we have no fears about it. We gotta release our fears about them communicating. We gotta release our fears about them hurting us. You know. No one can do anything to you or make you feel anything. You feel it, right? But they can't. For no one forces a feeling on you. It's just they can't. It's not the way it works. Okay. We gotta get rid of these fears. That's what it's telling us. Okay. These are things that we just need to see. So what's this fear about? <clears throat> We have control issues. Let the universe take the wheel. So the core fear for everybody, it always is control. Losing control. So we do things. We pull away from someone to maintain that feeling of we're in control of the situation. Because if we pull away first, they can't hurt us. Or we'll text them a lot trying to get that, you know, 
response. See, we can control the situation. On the flip side, they do the same thing, right? Everything we do is based on a fear of losing control. So what we have to do, our core fear, guys, this is it. The core fear that we need to get rid of is this fear of letting the universe take the wheel. Letting things just be and not judging them as good or bad. We have to let the universe take control. We have to stop trying to control the situation. That's what the fear-based energy does. It's like it's, it tries to control things and it causes us to react on our fears and beliefs. And then we do stuff, you know, or react to things. And that just, you know, it's just a fear of a loss of control. That's the core. That's it, <laughs> you know. So let's see. What is forgiveness about? What do we need to forgive? Yeah, liar. Someone isn't telling the whole truth. So maybe someone lied to you. Maybe we need to just forgive them. Maybe we're holding on to this. You know, maybe we feel like they weren't truthful. They weren't honest. They didn't give us the whole situation. We got to let that go, guys. We got to just forgive them and let it go. It doesn't mean forget, but it just means forgive. Release that energy from your body. It's keeping a wall between the two of you. It is building a wall. Okay. It's different with soulmates. Because you can't <laughs> with soulmates it's like that you don't have that energetic wall between you it's not as intense twin flames are soulmates on steroids it's like the most intense you know if there's energy there <laughs> it builds a wall and you cannot have any fear based energy between the two of you if you ever want to have a, you know like a stable relating experience in any way so let's see. These are Pearls of Wisdom by Sister Montero. So we're going to get some Pearls of Wisdom about this situation for you. Okay. What do I need to know? Some final words of wisdom. Cord cutting. So you can cut any cord and sever any tie you choose. You don't owe anyone anything and you owe yourself everything. It's about focusing on you guys. Focusing on you. And, I mean, you can't really cut the cord with a twin flame. Like, how are you going to cut your soul in half? You can't. So, you know, for this situation, it's really just about focusing on yourself and just stop putting that energy into that person. Another one. Endurance. You've already been through some of the worst days. You can do this. So you've been through the worst. You've been through the worst, okay? It's like you may feel like you're still in it, but you're not. It's, you're, you're through it. Like, the worst days have come and gone. So take that, you know, how it resonates. But it's like you, only better days are ahead here. So stay positive. Stay positive. It's going to be okay. The worst is over. And the best is yet to come. So then we have your insight, perception, and intuitive understandings are currently expanding to order, in order to remove any doubts and confusion. The energy surrounding you is creative, inspired, and radiant. You are, the, you are a beacon of light for others, and Spirit wants to thank you for your service and dedication. Your life will now begin to move forward in alignment with your care, core values, expand your horizons, and speak your authentic truth to those that need to hear it. This is about standing up, speaking your truth. Always speak your truth, guys. Be authentic. Have your integrity. You know, you cannot lose if this is what you do. Expect positive changes in your personal circumstances. The situation is set to expand beyond your imagination and visualize into a manifestation of a real physical connection. See? Union is coming, guys. Just just let go of the need for it and it's going to come. Compassion and understanding and deep and a deep emotional closeness will transform your romantic life. Challenges can be successfully overcome. Your circumstances will improve in a long in a loving, supportive environment which will align with you, your heart, and soul. So these are final messages, okay? These are just telling you that everything's going to be fine. We're moving towards, you know, a higher level of love. We're moving towards this energy where we're getting balanced. We're finding peace. we got some fears to let go of first. But that's what we're getting towards. This is the end goal, right? So just keep these things in mind. And, um, you know, just... Hold some space for yourself in the next couple weeks, especially today, as you move energetically through this intense energetic portal, okay? And I hope this resonated with you, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.